Welcome to Aircraft Engineered and today we are on the Airbus A380 and today we're looking at the Airbus A380 wheels and brakes. Today we want to know how to number the wheels and brakes on the Airbus A380 but first and foremost let's look at the landing gears and their arrangement. So this one right here is what you call the wing gear. So this is located on the root of the wings. So it has four wheels and four brakes. So it's just a classic boogie arrangement. So there are two of these, one on the left wing and other on the right wing. So now let's go to the body gear. So the body gear is a six uh, wheel boogie configuration. So let's look at it. Uh, this, yeah, the front wheels, the front wheels, front set of wheels have got brakes. The center set of wheels also have brakes. Now let's look at the aft set of wheels. They have no brakes. So if you look at the aft set of wheels, they don't have any brakes. That's for the other uh, uh, body gear as well. And then as you notice, there's also a, a steering mechanism. So the offset of wheel has got a steering mechanism that avoids or prevents dragging when the aircraft turns. So as the aircraft executed turn, this offset of wheels, uh, they tend to antagonize the movement of the nose gear. So, so this is where the body gear is stored during flight. It's actually a big compartment. As you can see, the attachment is way up there. And basically, this is where the the, the, the humongous uh, gear is, uh, is stored during flight when the landing gears retract. So this is just about it uh, in terms of our, of our body gear and wing gear. I wanted just to just get an appreciation of what they look like and how things are down there before we go inside the cockpit and start uh, doing the numbering. So these are the brakes and these are the wheels for the Airbus A380. So in total, we have 22 wheels and 16 brakes. So now let's see how it looks like in the cockpit. So this is how the whole scenario looks like in the cockpit. So first of all, let's look at how we name our gears. We've got the nose gear, obviously. Then we've got the left uh, wing gear. We've got the left body gear. We've got the right body gear. And then we've got the right uh, wing gear. So that's five of our, our gears. Then let's look at our... Um, so these uh, green triangles and lines are what you call the landing gear position indicators and landing gear door position indicator as well. So before we start numbering our wheels, let's go through the numbering rules first of all. So we, so the first rule is we number the wheels and brakes on the wing gears first, and then we number the ones on the body gears last. Okay, that's the first rule. Then the next rule is we number from left to right. So simple. Those two rules will take us to the numbering process so let's go so let's start our numbering process so we start with the wing gear on the right on the left first one two then we jump three and four on the right we come back again five and six seven and eight so we are done with the wing gear so now let's go to the body gear nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're done with the brakes. Let's go finish off with the wheels. Wheel number 17, 18, 19, and 20. So typically for any aircraft, you just uh, do it the same way uh, in terms of uh, the, the logic as in you do it from left to right. So you do the first set of wheels, left to right, and then you jump over to the next set of wheels left to right that's how you typically do it but then i would have done it in terms of the airbus a38 i would just i would have just gone right across one two three four five six but then airbus decided to go um the gear arrangement type so they do the wing first and then the body gear next so basically that's how they decided to do it so the digits you're seeing right now displayed a uh, break temperature uh, number, the break temperature figures. As you can see, for number 17 and 18, 19, there's nothing. So basically, those are break temperature figures. So what we do, if you want to see a uh, tire pressure indication, uh, I got you on this one. So as you look up at the in cap display, there's a word more display. So that means there's more information we can get from the page. So we go here and we look for the more button. You press the more button, voila. So you get your tire pressure as indicated just below. Yeah, as you can see, well, wheel for now, wheel number 17 is 225, 220. Yeah, generally that's what you're getting. You get also the accumulator indication, uh, steering control. Yeah, you get quite a number of information. As you can see our nose wheel pressures are 215, 215. So you just get a lot of this information if you click more. 
and um, I think it's just basically that in- information. If they, I think it comes from the standpoint where they don't want to overload uh, the crew with information. So the information is there when needed. So yeah, that's generally what happens. So when you click the more button again, this will disappear. Okay, let's press the button again. Yep, it's gone. So yeah, generally that's what happens and that's how you can check your ABUS A380 wheel and temperature indication. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Ciao.